This can't touch my Canada Dry, and this is my iPod Touch 2G jailbreak. This is the tether jailbreak, but it's still great. Alright, what you do, you go. There's this is the first link in the, the description, and you download the Seawood firmware, and then you're gonna get it. When you download it, just wait. Go to free user. You don't need premium user, and you're gonna have to wait like 40 seconds to download it. Alright, then you put it into a folder, and you make a second folder for it, and you press and you extract. It's gonna come in a zip folder, but I don't have when raw on this computer so it came as a zip folder so then you gotta make another folder and you press extract all you open this and extract all files alright now here's one big part before I start anything if you have a windows vista then you have to go to install libusb properties and then you go to compatibility and make sure that this is checked and make sure it's Windows XP okay uh wait hold on I don't know if you do it with this one too nope you just do it with that one alright now we download the the firmware. Alright, it's gonna be the second link. Alright, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you click it and you go to the last one there, iPod Touch 2G 2.2.1 slash 5H11A close parentheses. And then I you click download and it takes a while. And then the file's right there. You take it and you drag it into the folder. Drag it into the extracted folder. Alright, so now it's I have Seawood Jailbreak Helper. Seawood Jailbreak Helper. And I have the firmware. So now I'm gonna I already have it open. Alright. Now this is what you get when you open it. It's on step one. Alright, what you gotta do, you gotta install libusb. Install libusb. Run. Just click allow. It's not a virus, I know. Didn't slow down my computer or anything, it's good. Now you cl just click next or everything. Just Yep, and I already installed it as you can see. <sighs> nah, I need it. It's gonna take a while. And right, now you go to the second one, install, redistribute, whatever. I guess. Yeah, see, I already installed that one too. Just keep clicking next for these. Right. Yeah, cancel. Finish. Next step. Alright, now you have to drag the, the, this, the firmware that you downloaded in the second link in the description. And then you put it in the folder. And you get this. And you click it and you press start making IPSW command prompt should open up and it should uh, start writing things don't exit out no matter what you just gotta keep letting it go this is it gonna break your computer it's just watching the IPSW from your iPod and it's making it jailbreakable alright I'm gonna cut to the when it's finished I'm gonna tell you when it's gonna be done the last Right. Uh, can't touch my Canada dry and I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh yeah, and this is the longest part that ha happens in restoring it. The entire process is about 15-20 minutes. 
Alright, right, there it goes. Right, I'm gonna pause it. Okay, now it's it finished, and uh, there's one note that I have to say. There's a run 2670, and it keeps going, and don't exit out after that. Don't exit out at all, because it's gonna close by itself. Alright, so now that I did it, I got, now I opened, now I got jailbroken IPSW. Alright, now we're gonna move on to step three. Alright, we have to put our iPod in DFU mode. Alright, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I don't know how to show you, because...